Welcome to The Way, an independent Christian church located in Ocala, Florida. Thank you for joining us for today's devotional from Elder Russ Gemberling. When the Apostle Paul was on his third missionary journey, as recorded in Acts 19, he was in the area of Ephesus, and there was a major event which caused the name of Christ Jesus to be greatly honored. We read in chapter 19 of Acts, verses 13 through 16, a group of Jews was traveling from town to town, casting out evil spirits. They tried to use the name of the Lord Jesus in their incantation, saying, I command you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a leading priest, were doing this. But one time, when they tried it, the evil spirit replied, I know Jesus, I know Paul. But who are you? Then the man with the evil spirit leaped on them, overpowered them, and attacked them with such violence that they fled from the house naked and battered. So the question is, are you a threat to the kingdom of darkness? If Satan and his demons had a board meeting and your name came up before the board, what would they say? Would they say that you are one of the most feared enemies and they needed to keep many demons harassing and opposing you? Or would someone say, this person poses no threat to our activities? Leave him alone. He needs no help from us. There are millions of church-going believers sitting in pews Sunday after Sunday who pose no threat to the kingdom of darkness. Are you a threat? If you are seeking to follow the Lord, you can expect harassment from the enemy. God permits temptation because it drives us deeper into the soul of God. These times reveal God's power to keep us and walk us through the temptation. Our message becomes fruitful when it is born out of obedience and suffering for his name. Do not consider it strange if you find yourself fighting major battles, the more obedient you become to the master. God desires each of us to become a feared enemy of hell in order to affect Satan's domain. When you begin to feel harassed, chances are you are beginning to affect the kingdom of darkness, and Satan doesn't like it. So, how many demons do you think are assigned to you 